actually feel very similar singing in English or Icelandic. It's it's very, it is two different flavors, very much so. Um, but it's, uh, it, I don't prefer one to the other. It's sometimes almost good to sing in English in a sense because it's the sort of um, uh, communicative side. Whereas Icelandic is more sort of honest, sort of how you would talk to you, your baby or an animal, or your grandmother, in privacy. So you don't want to let all the terrible foreigners in there. So it's, it's if you speak English to them, it's like you have um, a defense wall, like mechanism. So I like that. I think it's very important straight away to find out why you were not happy. And then you can work on, on that. Um, because otherwise, you will, because when you walk off stage, you know emotionally what was wrong. You know, you know with your instinct. But if you... Um, don't think about it and just say, oh, fuck it, you know? Then it will maybe change into something else over a few days. And then when you come around to fix it next time with your people, um, you will have translated into something like, oh, you know that song, the intro was 12 bars. It should be, you know, 15, you know? Sorry, and that was not the point in the first place. And when you walk off stage, it's pretty abstract, and you need to solve it while you're still in that sort of emotional, sort of abstract space, you know, and not make it into a, not nail it down as as a, as a professional. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't really judge if people uh, are fond of early material or late material or, or, um, or even if they don't like my stuff. I sometimes find that quite interesting too, you know, and I want to know why and, and then I respect, you know, their, their um, opinions, you know. <laughs> As you said, you sometimes are kind of selfish and, for example, I understood that you don't care that much about rules that, for example, the industry puts up. But if you have personal limits of what you can do, what are they? Well, um, well most three years I've mostly been battling with um, energy and with... Um, and with um, um, the traveling has just gotten a little bit too much. So I've been traveling more or less for, uh, well, it started maybe 13 years ago, but m quite a lot for 10 years now. And uh, you start uh, writing songs and they're all about missing the bus <laughs> or and then the only categories you can put them into is either you got the bus last minute or you didn't. 
So emotionally, that's very one-dimensional, you know. So uh, that's kind of the battle. And I always thought musicians who write about how difficult it is being a musician, I thought it was, wait a minute, there's something really, you're locking all the doors here, you know. Because it is, uh, musicians have absolutely nothing to complain about. And if they feel sorry for themselves, just become a carpenter or something, you know? But, uh, or just quit, but not, you know, moan to us about how difficult it is being at sound checks or in hotels, you know? That's not the point, you know? But yeah, I think that's sort of my personal limitations is, is too much travel away from people I love, um, phone calls and being tired like um, after aeroplanes. But as you can see, these are not major dramas. It's not like I've got asthma or lost my leg or anything, you know? It's not, uh, I can handle it. <laughs>